in a few days time, she's going to go to one degrees, two, three, four degrees. And then that means she's going to have being a tight T square with the nodes, with the North and the South node. And remember the South node is a release and the North node is a beginning or it's, or it's at least, Hey, this is my future. Like I'm making a release so I can have a future, you know, that sort of a thing. Okay. So just keep all that in mind. That's the beginning of June, June 5th to like June 12th. All right. That's Venus in a tight square with the transiting nodes. Now let's go. Oh, wait, before I get off on that, <laughs> before I get off this page, the very beginning of June, this is June 5th. I just want to make a quick mention. Mercury moves really fast. And if you look down below, I'm going to get my marker here. I'm going to show you Mercury. Mercury on this chart on the 5th is at 21 degrees. 21 degrees. And at 20 degrees, we have Uranus. So this means that the day before, June 4th, June 3rd, maybe even June 2nd, if you have something in your chart at these degrees, there's news, something big is coming through. It's Taurus, so it's money, it's values. It could be somebody you love. It could be something that challenges your own values or information about your own values, maybe banking. Uranus can be an authority figure. So this could be at somebody's job, the boss at the job, someone who's the authority of the money. It looks like the Fed, at least in the United States, you know, and it may be changing the, the route in which interest rates are being whatever, right? And, and changing those, those things around something shocking and surprising. So possibly, um, you know, just a switcheroo, but someone of authority with money. Okay. So the very beginning of June, um, this right here, is going to be pretty tight and 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 it is it is fixed. There's a lot of fixed energy here. Venus is in fixed, right? Uh, Venus would have been like at 29 degrees for a couple of days in in Cancer, right? So that's the public, that's the families, that's women, that's nurturing, that's emotional needs, even emotional needs. So just have that on your radar. Uh, let me switch this chart out now. Here's the Venus rerun zone. Now, this is going to tell us the beginning stages of where, look closely, I got the arrow already there. I'm going to draw another one to draw your eye over to that. Okay. And then I'm going to put the date on here for you guys. And that's June 19th. June 19th. So that is about 15 days later, because that was June 5th. So 14 days later, we have Venus reaching 12 degrees in the chart. You see that? Venus reaches 12 degrees. And we see that Mars is at 17 there. Interesting. Will Venus and Mars catch up? That's a good question. Venus is in Leo. And this right here, the 1212, is where she's going to retrograde back to. So that gives us the rerun right? And that's why we want, that's why it's important to know this because on this day and for the rest of the month of June and July, we, in our brain, we have to keep this information in the back because we know Venus is going to go forward and she's going to reach 28 degrees of Leo energy. And when she reaches 28 degrees of Leo, and we'll pull the chart up for that so you can see the date and all that. But when she reaches that, she's then going to go backwards. And this is where she comes backwards to. She comes back to 12 degrees of Venus. I said 12 degrees of Venus, 12 degrees of Leo. So the 12 degrees of Leo, that lets us know that there's something that we're thinking about things that we desire, the play, our love and our desire for play, for being dramatic, there's something we're rethinking. So maybe some of us are in relationships and we're like, why is this relationship not going anywhere? <laughs> right? Why? Like we're really good in certain ways when it comes to having a good time. We're really good with that. But for whatever reason, when it comes down to can this thing go to the next level? It, it's like we're stuck. It just doesn't go there. And so if you're in a relationship that's like that, this Venus at this time, she'll be thinking and she'll be realizing 
she'll be able to identify that this is one of those relationships, that it's not really, not really a relationship. It's just a, a game. It's a game. It's entertainment. It's fun. Now, before I say anything else, because I don't want people getting bent out of shape or getting upset, there may be things in a person's chart that can offset this. You can be smart with love in other ways in your life. All right. You could have a very smart Venus. You could have like a Venus in Virgo in your natal chart, which is what I call a very smart Venus, because that Venus says it doesn't matter what somebody tells me with their words. I know they love me because I see it in their actions. They're there when I need them. They're dependable. They're reliable. Like all the dots are there. You can make the puzzle. You see all the pieces and it's their picture, right? There's no missing things. There's no hidden crap. There's no moments of being ghosted. And then all of a sudden they reappear and there's an excuse as to why they reappeared. Like there's none of that nonsense. And that's a smart Venus. She's like, uh-uh, this one's full of crap, right? So this Venus will be doing a lot of rethinking and being able to understand better the difference between love and romance because it's not the same, not at all, not at all, right? The romance is fun, but it has, you know, it's not what keeps a relationship together, right? It takes so much more when we're talking about, you know, love and romance, <laughs> <laughs> and to go to that next level. But with the other thing I will add, though, is that this energy in Leo, again, it's a beautiful energy as long as you recognize it's about play. It's about just having a good time. So we think of children, and this is what makes this energy difficult because so many people have children together, yet they're not married. And I'm not passing judgment. I'm not saying, hey, you should be married first. I'm not saying that. But how many of you would still be with somebody that you're with if you didn't have children? How many baby daddies, right? Or whatever, or my baby mama, like how many of those are there? And it's because we were having fun together. And that's what makes the Leo energy very tricky. And that is why Venus energy has to be smart. It has to be able to see, okay, sure, anybody can have babies, right? But is this someone who's going to help raise those babies who can be a good mom or a good dad, right? Like there's, there's that whole thing, okay? So Venus is going to be doing some thinking, all right? Now, on this chart, on this day, let's back it up a little bit. Venus, June 19th. Let's see what else is going on like we did at the other chart. We see Pluto is over here. Let's change the color a little bit. Pluto's going to be over here at 29 degrees. Okay, so Pluto's still at 29, not a shocker. Um, oh, I'm sorry, the other chart, Pluto was at zero. Now it's at 2951, 2951. Mm -hmm. And the moon's nodes are at two degrees. So we're beyond the Jupiter-Taurus conjunction, the North Node conjunction that happened at the beginning of June. The nodes are at two degrees, right? So they're still in the fixed sign. That's important. We also have Mercury and the sun in the sign of Gemini. Mercury and the sun in Gemini. And what I didn't show you guys in that other chart, I don't know why. I guess because there was just so many other things to talk about. When Venus entered Leo at zero degrees, Guess where the sun was? Yeah, guess where the sun was? Can you guess? Uh, am I on the right chart? June 5th. The sun was at 14 degrees in Gemini, in Gemini. And so now on this chart, when you look at Gemini, Mercury is now at the 14 degree mark. And that's important because it all tells a story. Because a, a a sun energy is somebody who's in charge, an authority figure. So it's an authority, uh, and it's Gemini, so it can be with sales. It can be, uh, we think of the markets like the stock market, business, and trade. And, yeah, I kind of referenced talking about the interest rates being changed and fluctuated. And so um, the sun was at 14. And here on the 19th, 
Mercury is at 14. So it's as though whoever was, whoever had something to say that day, remember Mercury conjunct Uranus. Now we're getting more information about whatever was talked about then, whatever the shocking decision was that we heard about. Mercury news, Mercury and Gemini, both news information, keeping track of things, the reporter, the scribe, right? That's Mercury, social media, and oh geez, yeah, Twitter, Facebook, all that nonsense and whatever um, that's going on. Um, just all the things that they're going through. So business and trade, this is your local community. This is the housing market, the housing market. This is your local community in terms of the stores and the small businesses, right? The business and the shopkeepers, the owners, the small businesses, the mom and pops, Gemini Energy, EVs, automobiles, but EVs as well. Okay. Automobiles, big thing, Gemini, big thing. So now Venus at 12 degrees just kind of gives us that understanding of what was going on when Venus first entered the retrograde zone. All right. So now we're going to pop on to the next chart. So here it is. You see Venus now? Venus is now at 28 degrees. Mm -hmm. And what else do you see? You see Mercury right there with Venus. Mercury is at 21. It's not conjunct. Um, Mercury can catch up to Venus and they will touch because this Venus is going to go backwards and this Mercury is going to go forward. So they will touch. So we're going to be hearing some news. Remember, Venus is a feminine energy. We're going to be hearing some news because that's Mercury. The news has something to do with some romance stuff, some playing around and uh, possibly somebody in charge. Why do I say that? You see, I drew the line already. Why do I say that? Because look where the sun is, somebody in charge. The sun is now at zero degrees in the sign of Leo. So this kind of tells us a story, somebody in charge, Leo energy, somebody of power. Uh, we can think of Leo energy, people with the brute, with the hair, right? Because that's Leo, but it's someone very colorful, someone who can be a bit dramatic, someone who likes the camera, someone who likes to perform, Oh, yeah. Someone who really, really likes to perform. And this is extreme because it's at zero degrees. And Merc everything's in Leo here. And Venus just began the retrograde. Just began the retrograde. So this is July 22nd. What you're doing with this series that I've that we've got here, right? You're taking a look where your Leo energy is. You're you're looking to see what houses is it in? It might be in one house for you if you do kind of use the chart system I use, which is a tropical Placidus house system, because it's all about the degrees. And that's the system I use for my videos. Many times I get a lot of you asking me questions about other systems. And I mean, I can give you a little bit of information, but I don't use those systems. So I wouldn't recommend asking me about those other chart styles and systems, because those aren't the chart systems that I use. You follow? I'm, that's like, this is the system I use. I know enough to have a comment here and there, but I would actually find somebody who uses those and talk to them about it. Okay. Cause that, that makes more sense. At least for me, I wouldn't want to give you the wrong information and I don't feel comfortable talking about something that I know I don't know anything about, or at least I don't know enough about it. So in this chart system, um, you can see that the Leo energy spans across two, two houses. It goes from their 10th house and it goes into their 11th house. All right. And, and that's, you know, that's, that's common. Very rarely do you see a house, a house system for tropical Placidus where each house contains only one sign. That's normally not the case. I mean, it can be seen, but it's, for the charts I've seen, it's normally not the case. Okay. So here we have Venus at 28. And I'm going to expand upon this now that we've already seen the date. But what else do you guys see here? <laughs> Venus isn't the only one in Leo, and neither is Mercury, and neither is the Sun. And yeah, you're right. We've got a Vulcan energy that's hanging out there too. But what else do you see? Yeah. <laughs> I know you guys see her. I know you see Black Moon Lilith hanging out at 29 degrees of Leo. 
Where's my music? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So Venus standing still, very powerful, very intense, very dramatic, very dramatic, very over the top likely. It doesn't mean that there's necessarily, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a lie, but likely just dramatic. And then there's just so much in Leo. Hopefully it's laughter. Hopefully it's about comedy. Hopefully it's nothing too serious in your life anyway, because this is what you want to do with this kind of energy. Do fun, creative activities. If you don't, what will happen is, you know, think about when you've got all this energy and if it doesn't get used, you know, if you don't find a way to channel it, it will come out in some way, shape or form. Right. And Leo's can you know, whether they're aware of it or not, there is way, I mean, here's a good example. Remember Chris Rock? I think that was Chris Rock. Well, remember the Academy Awards and all that crap that went down? And some people said, because Chris Rock has a lot of strong Leo energy, and some people thought, well, you know, saying what he said, uh, who the hell was that? Because I just kind of lost favor. Or he lost favor with me after that. Uh Man, I can't believe I can see his face, but I used to really, really like him. But ever, ever since he went up and hit somebody, I lost all respect for him. Will Smith. Now I know. <laughs> well, Will Smith thought that what Chris Rock said was disrespectful, right? Disrespectful, out of place, uh, even if you talk to me and my wife like that regularly between us, it's a whole different thing when you're on the camera. Like that's just, yeah. And so Leo energy can do the same thing. It can at times use somebody else as at the brunt of a joke and it might not be taken really well. Obviously if you're a paid comedian, well, I'm sorry, but you're probably going to be fair game. <laughs> <laughs> but considering Black Moon Lilith is going to be here, conjunct Venus, I would recommend to use your energy in a very creative way and don't use it to be mean to anybody. Even if you think it's funny, chances are with Black Moon Lilith involved, it's going to be hurtful. And that's just the truth. Okay, it's going to be hurtful. So just keep that in mind uh, in general, in your life. I mean, this is just as much for me as it is for anybody else. So, so we all just kind of got to remember all that. Okay. About that abundant Leo energy and to do something that will physically challenge you, but in a, it's a, a creative challenge, right? Because when we say physical, like we like to have fun with our bodies, right? So for my, for some people, when I saw all this, I thought, wow, maybe it'll be like Halloween early you know, we like put on costumes and we get, you know, it doesn't have to be like about spooky stuff, but well, Starry Night Live, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe that's how I'll use this energy. Do it to be, you know, just create in some way. Got to use that energy somehow. Okay. So figure that out for you in your life. And you're going to do that by figuring out the house numbers that all this Leo energy is going to be for you. If you don't know and you want to know, just comment below. I will help you to figure that out. And hold on, we're not done yet. Maybe I'll make this a part two or a three or four, but we still got a long ways to go. So hold on there. We got more work to do. Next chart up is going to be Venus going direct. All right. So here she is, Venus going direct. Below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below. 